Hi everybody, my name is Julie Sanford. I'm an independent paparazzi consultant with Paparazzi Accessories. And I am super excited to show you today how I make my event signs. Um, this isn't like rehearse. I don't have some big script. So if I jump around, that's just my ADD going off. I'm just a normal person. But I wanted to share this with you because it is so, so easy to set up your own events for paparazzi. You don't have to pay entrance fees anywhere. You set up in your own garage or your mom's garage or your aunt's garage or your sister's garage. And I'm going to show you how to get people there because I have developed a system that works. I have done it over and over again and it works. And you can use these signs over and over. You only have to make them once and I'll show you how to repair them and make them better every single time. So this is super easy. All you have to do is make a sign like this. It says amazing sale or awesome sale or sweet sale or bodacious sale or whatever it is that you want it's funny my neighbors are listening to me <laughs> they're gonna learn how to make a sign so whatever you want to do um i like this 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 is what i'm doing this year next year i'll probably switch but you want to use hot pink poster board or uh, lime green or fluorescent orange don't use white, don't put the address, don't put the times, don't put the days, just do this with a big fat arrow. The marker that you want to use is the Sharpie Magnum permanent marker, okay? Do not use a fine point, do not use a regular point. Go to the store, this is uh, 324 at the big box store. It is so worth it. I usually buy one a year and it gets, gets me through my signs. Um, so this takes a little bit of, of planning and forethought, but if you guys can get it done, this is the best way. You will get so, 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 so many leads off of this. It's not even funny. I am not kidding you at all. Okay, so this is what you do. You, okay, so you take your big fat marker, okay, and you're going to write big fat I'm going to press down hard and you want to make the letters big okay you do not need to put the address the, the biggest mistake that people make when they're making just even a garage sale sign is they try to put two information on the sign you want to make it flashy i have had so many people this season i did i just did three garage sales i did one at my uh my house well, I've done four this season. I've done one at my aunt's house, my house, my dad's house, um, and my uh, cousin's house. And I'm telling you, um, I have had so many people say, I love your signs. They drew me in. This is an amazing sale. It's, it's awesome. So you just want to do it like this. And then you want to put, I always um, put a variety of arrows. Like I have about 30 of these signs. You need a lot because I'm going to show you what to, what to do. But you're going to want to put a big fat arrow on it like this. Like this. Okay? And then on the other side, you're going to want to, you know, make sure that your arrow, <laughs> obviously, you guys, is pointing the right direction. So this arrow is pointing this way. And on the other side, it's pointing the same way. So when you put it on in the ground, from whatever side you look at it, it's pointing the same direction. I know that seems like super easy but people have screwed it up before so anyway okay now half the battle is just getting the sign right okay so you want to get the sign right all right now how do you affix it how do you get it to stay how do you get it to stay through rain and wind and storms if it, if it rains and winds i live in nebraska you guys we have had the craziest weather around here lately okay so this is what i do um, I have two different ways that I do it, okay? You can go to a sign shop and you can get what's called this basic H-frame, okay? This is just a basic H-frame. And what I do is I take this H-frame and I bend it down like this so that it's even, okay? Now once I have a whole stack of these, I use them over and over and over. So. You'll only really have to do this work once and then you'll have to make some repairs as the year or the years go on, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this H-frame 
we're going to take this sign and put it over the H frame. Okay. It might be sticking out a little. Doesn't matter. Okay. You're going to take a stapler. You're going to staple it like a million times onto that frame. Okay. You're going to staple it a bunch, a bunch of times. And I mean a bunch of times, you guys. Do not, staples are cheap. Staples are very cheap. Do not scrimp on this step. Just put a ton of staples in there. That sucker is not going anywhere, okay? That is a sturdy, sturdy sign that will survive through wind, rain. I don't know about hail, but, or a tornado. <laughs> but they are easily fixed. Um, I had a mountain bike hit one of my signs the other day. He ran it over, he destroyed it. That's probably not going to, um, you know, you're gonna have to replace that. But that's how you just do a basic, a basic sign. And then, let me show you how to repair a sign. This is one of my beat up signs. You see how beat up it is? <laughs> it's got, it's got, uh, it's got rip in it. It's got like ripped through the thing. Doesn't matter. This is what you do. Okay. Take your handy dandy tape gun that we all have these for when we ship our paparazzi products and just throw a little tape on there. Okay to kind of shore it up around the, um, just kind of shore it up around the, the metal part. So you can kind of like tape it back on. Don't take this off. This is used as a framework, okay? So what you can do is just take a new one and staple it right over the old one, okay? Don't take it off because now you have even more firmness and you have even more sturdiness to it. You've got something to staple underneath it and it just makes it sturdier and more firm and strong. So you just staple the snot out of it. Right, ladies, men? This is great for just normal garage sales. And the reason you don't want to put the address on is people don't care, okay? They just are gonna follow your signs. And then if you don't put the address on, you can use it over and over and over throughout the year. If you set up at a craft fair, put up a couple signs that say amazing sale outside, they could always use extra advertising. If you set up at your mom's house and a couple weeks ago you were set up at your house, you can just pull these signs out and use them over and over and over again. There is absolutely no reason to put the address or anything. You can use these from year to year and just keep putting poster board over them and keep putting poster board over them and they get pretty sturdy. And then when you get them so thick that you can't kind of staple them together, peel them all off and put a couple of the, the, the in good shape layers underneath it and kind of start all over again. Eventually these will break, just get a new one. You can get them on Amazon. They're called H-frame sign frames, H-frame sign holders or whatever. So that's how you do that, okay? Now I'm also gonna give you a little trick that I learned. When the campaign is over, grab yourself some campaign signs that are on either, you have permission from the politician to use. You could always pull this out and just use the H frame if you want. Or what I like to do is why would you want to waste this perfectly good backboard backing when all you have to do is tape it on. Now a stapler probably isn't going to go through here and what I probably like to do is I don't want this mulligan for city council down underneath here. So what I do is I grab another piece of the poster board and I might rip some off and put it underneath to kind of make it so that it's like that, you know, so it covers it up. And then you just tape it on with your tape gun. Whoops. Okay, like this. Whoop. 
Whoops. My tape gun. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is not good, ladies and gents. I don't know how to work a tape gun, obviously. Okay, so that's that's fine. So this just kind of gives you an idea. <laughs> you know how to work the tape gun on how you can do that, and then you just tape it on on all the sides. You know, the mistake I made was I didn't end it soon enough. Just tape it on, on all the sides. Okay, it's not perfect, but you get the gist of the idea. All right, tape it on to this back part, and then you can put your big fat arrows, or you also want to make room on the side of the sail so that you can put an arrow going straight forward, okay? So this is what you do. You start at your sail. So like, let's say it's at your house. You start at your house and you put a big fat sign that says amazing sale here and you get your friend or your husband or neighbor to hang out at your sale and just kind of sell jewelry for a half hour while you go put up the signs okay so you want to do this the morning of you could even do it you could do it the night before so you start at your i never put them out the night before if it's going to be nasty weather but you start at your house and you just start signing people in so I go all directions. I usually put out about 25 to 30 signs. I know that sounds like a lot, but it is so worth it. It pays off big time. So what I do is when they come to the sale, I get leads from the people that buy the jewelry. I don't try to get the names and the phone numbers and the email addresses of the people that just come and shop and look around. I've got the whole garage is full of jewelry. I mean, I have a massive inventory. The whole garage is full of jewelry. So whether you have a, a single garage, a double garage, a triple garage, it doesn't matter. Put as all the jewelry out that you possibly can. Make it look nice. I use tables and little black tablecloths, and you can use plastic tablecloths in the dollar store, whatever. Just don't throw it out. Make it look like a little mini boutique in your garage, okay? Maybe put some balloons up or whatever. And that big old sign, and maybe get some of those paparazzi guard signs from paparazzi and stick them out there. But you want to sign people in. You so like let's say you live a half a mile off of the main drag so if you live on 120th street and the next no let's say let's say you live on like 117th and 120th is a main thoroughfare you start signing people in they should turn they should see the big sign amazing sale this way and then they'll turn and when they turn they should be able to see your next sign they should never wonder well, where is the amazing sale? When they turn, they should see off in the distance another pink sign telling them where to go. And that's how many signs you need. And you need to sign it all the way around your property. So if you need, if there's four ways into your house, you need to sign all four ways because it will pay off big time. And then you can use those signs over and over and over again. And I'm going to do another video to tell you guys how to get the leads. I have figured out the system when they come to one of my garage events, how to get the names and the numbers and the email addresses of the people that I want to contact in the future to either have a Facebook party or to sign up on my text alerts or that I can invite to one of my lives or any one of those above, okay? I have an amazing system, so that video should be coming soon if it's not already up on my YouTube channel, so look for that, okay? So thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. And I think I showed you guys everything. Oh, I did not. There's one more. There's one more frame, this kind of frame. You can use these, too. And they just fit just the same as the others. And you just staple them on, just like. So if you commandeer some of these somehow, Here's the frame right here. You just staple inside and outside all the way around the frame and through here. That's it. So you can use this kind too, okay? But make sure that you use lots of staples and the big fat marker. Put two words, whatever sale with an arrow and use tons of signs and just point people to your house. And I'm telling you, you will have the most amazing event ever. Try to have two or three day 
events and give like I do a Thursday Friday Saturday and I give all the working people uh, time to come and I usually I like to stay up uh, stay open until about an hour after rush hour when everybody's coming home and I'm telling you guys they stop when they see you open like try to get a big tent in your um, driveway set up a tent like big bright tent if you don't have one of those that's okay it doesn't matter put some balloons on your mailbox or something and they will stop and it doesn't matter if it's just jewelry because I've had some people come and like guys they'll come up and they'll go oh, do you have any guy stuff and I'll be like sorry I have some men's jewelry over here but if you're not into that send all your women folk this way send your significant other your wife your girlfriend your you know all of your lady friends send them over here and a lot of times they do <laughs> so I've only had a couple people get mad well this is an amazing sale this is this is just jewelry this is crap or whatever and then they leave I don't really care about that I don't care I want the people that love the jewelry I want the people that are gonna buy the jewelry I want the people that I'm gonna be able to connect with in the future and build my business so anyway thank you so much for watching and I'm super excited leave some comments below and tell me how you um, did on your event you guys can join my VIP group on Facebook I would love to have you join my team I want to coach you to success if you're looking to do a paparazzi business I would love to sponsor you into the company um, my website is www.facebook.com backslash groups back backslash Julie's jewelry junkies you can get me there or you can get me on my business page at www.facebook.com backslash Julie's five dollar jewelry okay and those links are down below all right in my YouTube statements so thanks so much guys have a good night